Mike the Maker here. Today I've got a grand assortment of planters. I printed all of these up, I had a lot of fun with it. Some of these are from Thingiverse and some of them are my own creations and I'm really excited to share it. Recently, my fiance has developed a bit of an obsession with plants and succulents and I decided I wanted to help her out and print up some different pots for her. I used Paramount 3D's terracotta infused PLA filament and I had no real issues with it. You might have noticed that there are a large amount of planters here and there's a good reason for that. We have a lot of little babies to get transplanted and grown into their own pots. I'll get started with the things I got off of Thingiverse. First is this low poly planter with a wide top. Very easy to print, um, didn't have any failures at all, went in one go, so I was pretty pleased with the way that it turned out. Next up is a vented planter that I found on there, which is actually the inspiration for one of the things that I ended up creating. You can see I had a small print failure there, but it managed to stick together. However, the real issue I had with this design was the letter watermark that was put at the bottom. Um, unfortunately, because it's so small, it kind of wasn't able to sit really well and almost caused the whole thing to fail. Luckily, it was able to get through it, as you can see. Overall, I'm still very pleased with this planter. It's a neat design that's going to look great in our garden. Next up is the cat pot. This one was very neat. Um, I printed it at about 50% scale, so it could have been much bigger, but I just kind of wanted something small for this one, a little desk ornament. Of the designs that I downloaded, this one was probably my favorite. This is the brontosaurus pot. Uh, it's gonna look really neat once we got a nice little bush growing out of the back, but uh, printed very easily, no issues at all. This was my first attempt at designing a pot on my own. Uh, didn't turn out too well, was printed very small, but it helped me get a lot of those design principles down, which helped for some of the designs that I made afterwards. My second design is now a bit more functional. Um, you can see that there's a little bit of separation at the base, so that probably came from the way I designed it, um, which was a lesson learned for some of my future designs as well, but still functional. Here I started to get a bit more intricate with the design, adding the vented holes, the kind of angles without supports that allows it to get some more volume up at the top where you actually put the plant. A uh, little fragile, but it still works. Now this is my crowning achievement as far as design goes for this video. I was very proud of the way this turned out. It's very rigid and I can tell that it's going to last quite a while. Oh, and speaking of rigid, it's actually got a bit of weight to it, about 3 ounces. Up next is just kind of something I did for fun while I was printing all of these things and doing some designing. Um, it's like a little grow light for a mini succulent that's not quite ready. I don't think it can actually grow anything, but it does serve as a pretty neat desk ornament. First I started out by putting the electronics together, just a simple design, um, a resistor, an LED on a 5 volt power supply. 5 volts is of course what USB runs on, so it was a pretty easy choice to make. And after a bit of work, it was ready to go. Something I saw another maker doing, which I started doing, was using hot glue to kind of just insulate all of the electronics and keep them in place, and it works very well. One last little challenge for myself, I wanted to try to 3D print a mini watering can. 
You see that I've got some of that separation at the base again because it kind of fell back on my design principles that I had taught myself. There was a handle as well, but it broke off once I filled it with water the first time. It may not work great, but it is technically a functional watering can, so I'm happy to say that it still works. Despite the separation on the outside, the inside still appears to be sealed and watertight. There's no leaks. Hope you enjoyed checking out all of these neat little planters and our plants that are now in them. I definitely plan on doing more once I figure out some more designs. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe for more. Till next time!